sorry for not posting in a while. Today, we're doing something different. We'll be unboxing an art doll, and I have some art dolls coming up in the future, so stay tuned for that. I got this art doll off of a shop on Etsy called Arcane Critters. The art doll that I ordered usually sells for about $50. The custom ones sell for $50, and the ones that are already made, colored, and everything are $50 as well, for what I remember. It comes in a small box with a beautiful dragon stamp on the top, and I thought, I'm just gonna save the stamp. I'm probably gonna save everything that's in the box. <laughs> and I saved the stamp because I thought it was cool. It's got a dragon emblem on it, and it's multicolored. It's a wax seal. And here I am struggling to take it off. I had to cut it first, like underneath. And yeah. First thing we get is a blue bag with two Japanese candies. I think they're Japanese, I'm sorry if I don't, I'm not correct. And then two little, I think, resin charm things. They're really cute. And I might try these later. I don't know, I'm not very adventurous. I'm not an adventurous type. Little blue bear and a golden-ish clear heart with some gear looking things in it. I'm obsessed with this bag. I will be using it for future projects. This is one of the candies and this is another. The green one looks like it might be apple though. Here we go with the critter. If you do happen to purchase this specific Quetzalcoatl doll, which is what this creature is, it will look white on the page because it is a custom. You will directly message the creator and pick out three colors. That's the lowest price. And then you can get feathers for another five or ten dollars. And then you can get any other finishes like extra details and stuff for around sixty-five dollars. But I chose to get gray at the top with a purple head, a dark purple body with a white tail tip. And I'm obsessed. She has a silver sheen. I don't know if it really shows on camera, but in real life, like in person, I mean, it's a silver sheen on the face. I am obsessed. And this is faux fur from what she said. And um, it's so soft. If you could touch it, you'd be obsessed and you'd want to never stop petting it. It's like, it's like a cat or a dog. This is the... These are the instructions on how to take care of it. Just feel free to pause if you need to. This is her contact. You, sh you should get a fantasy art doll from her. And she makes little sculptures. And yeah, I found her on Etsy. I was just scrolling through looking at art dolls. So she has a... Um, like a plastic... Uh armature and it's easily posable and I like to wrap her around my hand and I love snakes but this isn't it's kind of a snake kind of bird it's got it's just it just wraps around my hand I like to wrap it around my hand or around my neck and I, I I'm just gonna flat out say it. I'm obsessed with this I have not put it down since I read uh, received it and shipping time because it came from Miami Florida and I'm like on the other side of the um, continent I'm on the other side of America uh, it took about two and a half weeks because when she got my message she had to create the art doll and then she had to ship it out but it was great quality it came perfectly and i mean i got a 4k camera and so she looks shimmering outside and then since i don't want to show myself i show it on my cat billy's neck that's kind of what happens with me and she was not having it <laughs> that's an art doll that i made her name is skiera skiera yes and she's a big snack as my friend Tars Addict likes to call her, Floofsnick. <laughs> a Floofsnick. 
But yeah, that's the art doll that I ordered, and I suggest you go and buy from her too. She's got great quality, and it is amazing. <laughs> but that's all for today. Um, stay tuned for my art dolls. See you guys later. Bye-bye. Yeah.